Hey guys, this is Lucky from Nike Illuminati, and today I'll be showing you an AK-47 weapon guide on um, basically everything in terms of crosshair placement, spraying, tapping, uh, bursting, um, and stuff like that. So, um, anyways, yeah. So here we go. First things first, with the AK, you want to know its, uh, its spray pattern. So pretty much what I'm going to do right now is spray the AK up against this wall. And what you're going to see is that it's going to go up and then it's going to go to the right. So it's going to look like a backwards L again, just like the M4 in my previous, my previous video. So, this is how it looks like. And now what you want to do is kind of reverse this into a controlled area. So, you're going to want to move it down when you're spraying up for, at the, for the first couple of bullets and then to the left so that it's in a controlled space, kind of like this. So that's pretty much how you want to control your AK spray. You just want to reverse the, the spray pattern of whatever this is. And now in terms of bursting and tapping, the AK is actually really accurate too. Uh, other than close range, close range, I guess it can, uh, can get kind of hectic. But in terms of AK versus M4, the AK is better long range in my opinion, but the M4 is always better close range. I mean, the perk to the AK is that it's a one-shot, or it's a one-bullet headshot kill. So, it does have its, its nice perks you can compare to the M4. So, tabbing with the AK is also quite simple. You just have to just shoot your normal bullets. AK bullets always go where they want you, or where you want them to go. As I said before, spraying is probably the only weakness the AK has. Like, as you can see, my bullets are also in a very controlled space. Like, you don't really need to worry about too much about this pattern here when you're spray or when you're one tapping. Because wherever your crosshair is placed, they, they will go to it. As you can see, bursting is also quite simple. Just three bursts. Three bursts move, three bursts move, three bursts move. So it does go a little up, so if you want to burst down like a little bit like that and just move your crosshair down, it's also really good. Like that, that was actually kind of perfect. Yeah, anyways, um, that's basically it for how to use an AK guide. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to show you next is crosshair placement on D-Dust 2, which is pretty much the easiest way to learn how to use any gun. And how to properly, uh, what angles to properly hold and stuff like that. And I'm just going to show you for T side and uh, pretty much how to use the AK to its maximum potential on this map. So, anyways, um, basically on Terrace, you're always going to have to buy an AK. With, but with the new update, the Krieg and the AUG are really powerful too. So, not too sure how, it's, how the new meta is going to work out. But yeah, generally, people buy AKs or ops. And now I'm going to go over basically every roll, kind of on a proper default and what angles to hold and what angles to to get or what not, what kills to get. Sorry. So, um, for starters, when you're going long, and let's say you it's late into the round and you just want to clear anything, that's basically what I'm going to go over with the whole method of this uh, this crosshair placement guide is going to be of just late game what you want to clear out and stuff like that. So, you always want to pre-aim the corners you're checking. So this, you should already like have a kind of an idea on where to aim. Um, best way to figure this, this out is to go in a server by yourself or DM because muscle memory really helps. But you just always want to pre-aim the spot you're gonna you're gonna clear. So I really want to clear long door, and if somebody's peeking it, they're here and they're already in my crosshair, and this is this is an easy kill for me because of uh, Peeger's advantage, kind of because it still kind of exists. But anyways. So, what I do here is I just pre-aim the section of the door I think the counter terrace is going to be, and if everything's clear, you'd come here and just continue keeping your crosshair exactly where you think their head will be. So, corners to clear when coming out long, I always clear this, this blue bin, people play here a lot, close long, and always make sure to check this, this, and this side of the door, because people tend to play here a lot late into the game. You always check pit 2 for their head, right over here, this is where they're going to be. They could even be down a little more, I think. But this is generally the area. So uh, you should always pre-aim this one coming out long A. 
people can also be here, but this this is just reflex. And here as well. Always clear these corners. And clear always clear pit as well. And what you want to do when coming out of long A like this is just jump it straight into the pit. Because now you can see all of long A plat and just know what to hold. And like I said, um, you just can't learn this from a video. You'd actually have to go inside of DM server and continuously practice this and gain muscle memory. So for now, um, when you're, what you're doing in pit now is just you want to hold the connector and just... You more than likely won't hit this shot. It's a pretty hard shot to hit if you uh, if the other person jiggle peaks and stuff like that. But where you want to aim is kind of close to the shadow. Like if you can see the shadow over here and if you're in pit, you want to hit the top of the shadow. That's the exact spot their head will be. Um, Always clear out game helper. That was what you called it 1.6. Not really sure what anybody else calls it. But that's what game helper is. And... It's kind of it's pretty hard to run across slung without a proper smoke here, so you more than likely won't be peeking into this if you're doing an A take. So, but if you are, always check the right side of CT spawn, check the dark spot, but and then check this because people tend to play there a lot. But if there's 99% should be a smoke there at most times. Um, other than that. It's pretty straightforward if you're coming off of cat as well. Um, what you want to pre-aim is cat stairs, which is right here. This is where they'll play. Always clear that. Here's another pretty interesting spot so, to also or also play for CTs, so you always clear this. Top of the stairs as well is really important, and behind this box. Over here as well. And this. So when you're coming up A from catwalk, now this is this is what gets really hard because there's so many things to clear. So you want to jiggle peek goose at first, and make sure you're always pre-aiming, of course. Jiggle peek it if you see nothing. Jiggle peek the A box if you don't see anything either. Jiggle peek the ramp because they can be here. This is where most operators like to play. So see nothing there. They're pretty much either game helper or long. So. It's pretty common for operas to be on the ramp because then they can move around a little bit more instead of just being secluded to one area like like Goose for example. So like I said, I will continue to say it. You need to go in a server by yourself, learn the like where to aim your crosshair because it's kinda different for every res. And you need to DM a lot to get proper muscle memory. So that's also really, really helpful. But in terms of just shooting the AK. Um, you just need to get the hang of it. You you can't just expect to wake up one day and automatically know how to shoot a gun. So proper usage of practice time is what I really recommend. But anyways, um, yeah, that's where to usually check for people at the A site. So coming out of mid, what I normally would do is always clear this. And make sure to clear this left side because people do play here. Check spawn. And then wide peek this. And they can always be there. Check the dark spot again. Check CT spawn over there. Check this corner. And now peeking B is kind of really scary. Because if they have an opera window or an opera planks, it's a free kill for them kind of. So jiggle peek this. If you don't see anybody, jiggle peek the window. And they're more than likely going to be there if nobody's playing on mid. So window, really recommend um, just first guy wide peeking and trying to trade the kill but I'm doing a proper mid take you'd always have this smoked off anyways not like that but a little bit better and clear the door as well jiggle peeking corners best method of clearing things it's kind of a harder shot for the CTs to hit and people if people play here it's kind of a free kill for the terrorists too you can just trade it easier and it's like uh, there's only gonna be one person in B but now clearing B from B tunnels. Single box. People tend to play there a lot as well. Always clear single box. Um, if you walk into right side of B, clear this later into the round. But always have a teammate walking in with you at the same exact time. Make sure to, that he clears plat. And then he checks close sight for you and checks that box and checks back plat. And then here, people play. So you always check this. Run out and just shoot it. And then while you both are coming in, you know that's clear. 
left guy should always hold closet while this guy's peeking the right. Then left guy should walk up, creep closet if he didn't see anything plot. Make sure to always be aware of this box as well. And if everything everything should be clear from there, um, it's pretty straightforward. You come here, check this. Somebody's back of sight, you'll see them when you're checking this box. Um, always be aware of that somebody could be opping spawn though um, from A. So if you don't have the door smoked off, just be really aware of that. And from your, when you're peeking window, again, just be aware of the spawn. You can see TC spawn. Um, that's pretty much it on like where to look exactly when taking sights. Um, now what I'm going to show you is basically what I did in my last guide where I would pretty much play against bots and show you like the tech the different techniques I use in killing people so um yeah here we go my different techniques now that I switched the map and um how exactly to shoot uh shoot the different the different styles of shooting bursting tapping spraying um so I'm gonna show you how to do it against bots So now I have my different bots, and now what I want to do is determine what range I like to burst and tap in. So pretty much from this range, it should be pretty simple. Just tap the person, the bots, or the the enemy's head. Um, from that distance, you never want to spray or burst or tap from a distance like this. Like what you want to do is just spray down the enemy. So to do, like you'd have to go in a server, like I said again, DM and determine like what range you would you'd want to to want to shoot in but generally distances like these bursting and tapping most effective uh, most effective way of killing people and now spraying spraying with the AK like I said is a little bit random sometimes it hits sometimes it doesn't but spraying you want to pretty much spray in ranges like this when you're pretty close to the person so spraying spraying that was kind of a spray bursting from that far you spray like that. And the AK is pretty straightforward when it comes to when it comes to shooting. And like I said, it's a one shot, one head or one bullet headshot kill, so it only takes one bullet to kill a CT, so aim for the head. There's no harm in not aiming for the head. Um and like in my previous M4 guide, I showed you a trick on how to spray and crouch. So you can do the same thing with the AK when you're spraying somebody. Crouch up and down when you're in a firefight against the person so they have a harder time hitting your head. So that's pretty much it on proper AK um, proper AK placements and bursting and stuff like that. So like, like I keep preaching to all of you, best way to get good with a gun, DM. And just go in a server by yourself and learn the proper angles. And you'll eventually become a pro. So anyways, thanks guys for watching this video. This is Lucky from Nekoto Illuminati. For more content like this or from other pros, please tune in to Nekoto Illuminati.